drilled some holes up in the, the mouth of a shallow bay. Mac Mulligan, uh, which by the way, if you're following him out here, you feel like you're in a high speed chase. <laughs> that guy gives her. But he poked some holes right away and dropped down and there was fish crawling all over. And it was kind of right away earlier in the day, up a little shallower in 14 feet. It's kind of a little steeper break bottom of it in like 30 feet and there's just walleyes crawling all over out here it is unreal i've already caught five or six myself we've barely been fishing it feels like this is something that i've always wanted to do like the back country style walleye and uh it's just an option that i literally had no idea that bakers offer because you just hear about lake trout but man they've got some really cool bites you can explore Barely made her. <laughs> oh, there's a big suspended one. Oh, there's two. Oh my gosh. Oh. It came up and just smoked my bait. Dead? Yeah. Oh my gosh. But I was trying to crawl over the snowmobile. Got him. Oh. Dude, that was a big one. Oh my gosh. How far down? Uh, about two to four feet off bottom. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. N another one. Oh. This is so sick. Dude, they look like piranhas down there. Half of these fish are acting like fish back home. Slow moving, where I guess they do really well with like a jig and a salty hanging there. But then the other half of the fish come flying in and hit it like like in your head when you're thinking a backwater walleye that hardly sees a bait. So it's like 50-50, two different moods of fish. This is so sick. <laughs> this is so sick. <laughs> Another one with the right attitude. Oh, my line got wrapped up on the reel handle.
All right, we're just gonna pop this thing out and thaw some stuff out. It was below zero this morning when we took off and everything's frozen. And then get out of the wind a little bit so that it's easier us for chat about what's going on. He's on. Oh, that is a nicer one. Hey. Hey, howdy neighbor. Howdy neighbor. The, lucky charm. <laughs> the old coyote about us. The old coyote. That looks like a nicer mark, man. Do you want help? No, I'll reach down there and grab it. Don't There's get, another big don't one. Don't get that real tangled in your beard, okay? <laughs> <laughs> There's another big one down there, right? They are stacked like cordwood here, man. Dude. That's this a beauty. Fish. Oh. Awesome, dude. Nice, nice fish. Another one coming in back country. This gold. thing just about went flying. Well, nice. Nice, job <laughs> nice back one. Sweet. There's more down there, too. Heavy duty. I feel like a sissy hiding in here in the heat. Yeah. You want to poke in? You, the I know you're. are outside in the cold, roughing it out. You can... And we got the bearded babies in here. <laughs> the bearded, the bearded babies. babies in here. And the clam flip over with the big buddy. <laughs> couple wimps. I know you're not cold, but do you want to poke your head in? Because I got a couple of questions for you. I'm more than willing hop, to answer Hop in questions. here, hop in here. Check, check. I'm a naturally awkward, quiet talker. Do you, wanna, yeah. do you want to know something really crazy? There are walleyes everywhere, and they are biting, and he wants to leave. <laughs> he wants to go do something else, and he has to, uh, you know, you want to fish like another hour here, or what are you thinking? And uh, I said forever would be my answer, but why would we leave here right now? It's because there's so many options, man. <laughs> for backcountry exploration, whether it's fishing for walleye, pike, or the backcountry lake trout. We do have lake trout in some of these back lakes. They don't get as big as they do out in the big water like we were focusing on earlier in the week but we get some really really gorgeous fish out of that out of that dark tea water and they are just absolutely stunning you get some super dark charcoal colored fish with those bright bright orange fins dude yeah you were saying that uh like we went through a couple little lakes mm -hmm. on our way back to this one and you were saying that one of those little ones that we had drove right over was a lake trail lake. yeah the whole experience like, even before we caught a fish when we got back here it was like this is worth yeah it. It just... it's just such an adventure in itself like I definitely recommend doing it because like the lake trout grind, like it's it's definitely a grind, like it's hard on a guy, it's hard on an angler. It's similar to musky fishing, you know. You can fish for musky all day, yeah. but at the end of the day, it's nice to just catch some fish, just some easy fish. I'm not saying walleye are easy, but typically you're going to catch more walleye in a day back here than you would lake trout in a day. Yeah. So it's nice to take a bit of a break from the hardcore lake trout grind. Let the let the bearings rest and just catch some walleye. <laughs> Do that ride in. Uh, I've, I've never snowmobiled in anything like that. Uh, you always hear of all the people like back in the bush and yep. uh, how they like their auger racks like streamlined versus mm -hmm. out or rods in now a case you know not up. <laughs> and then when it's like some of the bushes and stuff you're yeah. going through, I, I now I see why you're like, yeah, those rods on your otter box, got to gotta lay those babies flat. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to work, but <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, we definitely get very spoiled up here with the abundance of fish and the different different bodies of water and the vast potential between the back lake walleye and the big lake walleye and the lake trout and pike and everything is just there's huge of everything and it's just you just got to tap into it there's so much untouched gems and there's just so much exploration to be done up here it's just incredible there's one flying in oh then he slows down like oh he's flying <laughs> that was so cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> nice. I got my chesty rolling. Sweet. That was one of those ones in the right mood. Some come in slow, some rifle right in. Another nice one. Jigging a minnow. So uh, what's pretty cool is these backwater walleyes aren't all just eater size fish. They actually get some really big ones. Yeah. Up over even 28 inches. But I guess lots of mid 20s mixed in. And that is a quality fish anywhere, man. Beautiful. That she is goes. awesome. Nice. We're going to make a little coffee, make a hot lunch. So these guys actually send you out with lunch made for you already which is super nice of them and makes things easier but i'm gonna add a little bit to the whole uh 
backwoods bush experience and we're gonna make a little hot lunch got a little jet boil flash here and make some warm food see if i can actually talk and do things at the same time if a fish comes through it's no telling what's going to happen but <laughs> so just got a little canister here we're going to just boil some water whoops that bad boy screwed on there attach there get a little stabilizer on the bottom so i don't spill boiling hot water on my lap There we go. So if I was gonna be really cool, I would scoop up some lake water and boil it, but we do have bottles here, so. Add one cup. And just like another third. Literally just takes one minute to bring a, a cup and a third of water to boil. Dump her in the dehydrated meal. Have a hot meal on the ice. Although I think those guys were even maybe gonna bust out some hot dogs. So <laughs> we got options. There's fish cruising around. I think we're gonna make a little instant coffee too. Have a little warm up in the tent. And uh, then after we get some food in us, we'll sneak off on a, another little excursion. And on today's menu, I think I'm gonna do a little uh, chicken and dumplings. Hoffman's gonna have a little beef pasta marinara. Yeah, you want a cup of coffee too? Yeah? All right, let's get it fired up. This thing is actually already boiling. <laughs> it's so crazy. You can see it'll turn orange on the side. Maybe you can't see that, but you can just uh, take my word for it. So we got her to a boil. Oops, try not to spill anything. Don't eat that. And just literally pour the boiling water in there. Nope, oh, I'll grab that. Might not look like much right now, but you wait about five, 10 minutes and we're gonna have ourselves a little hot lunch. Seal it up. All right, we'll start dinner number two. <laughs> Cheers, homie. <laughs> All right, we're warmed up, we're full, feeling good. It's actually only one o'clock, which is crazy because it's already been what a day you know but uh so i was ended up catching all those fish on just a vmc rattle and roach spoon sometimes i'd tip a minnow head on there most of the time it was just fish like this and like i mentioned earlier half of those fish would come in and you could just see they're gonna eat they come flying up the other half tight to bottom but i just got 10 pound suffix advanced mono 10 pound floral leader 38 inch tuned up custom rods commander beefy rod and you don't know what you're going to catch up here which interestingly enough the reason we're packing up at one is we're going to take our time getting back and maybe check a couple other little lakes i didn't know until chatting with mac that we're driving right over lake trout in between portages so uh, i only brought one rod the commander and if i catch a lake trout it's gonna end up being on this bad boy with 10 pound mono but we're gonna wrap this up pack up our little uh our little heat source or a little warming hut and get back on the trail tapping out on the walleye category and we're gonna go focus on some backcountry lake trout still some walleye opportunity in there but the main focus is some dark backcountry lake trout it feels good to be using this titan how it's supposed to be made portages deep powder towing hundreds of pounds of gear hundreds and hundreds of pounds of man it feels so good dude and it is an absolute ice fishing machine what 
Hold on, he's chasing me up. Is it big? I'll be right over. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Or should I stay here with you? Oh. We got trout all around us. Oh, you should probably <laughs> take that off, Daryl. Okay. You should probably take that off. Should I? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. There's one 20 feet away up shallower, so that must be that way. He's 20 feet down, 20 feet away. But he's up. Oh, oh you're on, too. <laughs> yes. Finally, you're listening. <laughs> yeah. Look at that trout! Brett just said that he marked one up a little bit shallower and I reeled up about 10-15 feet down. Never marked the fish on the Vexlar, rod just doubled. Oh, I'm gonna get this guy back. Back country, dark, dark lake trout. That was so cool. That was awesome. Alright, there's more. Yeah, that wasn't even the one that, was, that I was talking about. That, that was so cool. Oh, there's one down there again. Ten, fifteen feet down. Oh my gosh, is it so darty? I don't know where he went. Oh, I bet that's him. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Nice, dude. <laughs> that one's even darker. Wow. Literally 30 seconds after you just let that other one go. Dude. There's a couple fish around. Yeah. Amazing. Right in the snow. That one's Look at those colors. That is unreal. There's no way it does it justice, but it is so beautiful. Look at those fins. It's they look horn. different than the fish on the big lake. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Another one. Another one. <laughs> now we're actually gonna keep making our way back. We stopped and poked around for some trout a little bit, and it happened instantly, which isn't always the case, but it was drill a hole, drop down, boom, 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 back to back to back. What a wild experience, man. I, I get now why you were like, okay, these walleyes are, these were really fun, but I've got something else to go take a look yeah, at. Yeah, it's always worth a little pit stop on the way by, you know? Dude. It's hard it, to drive over all the little gems up here. And these these backwater, or what do you got, backcountry backwater? Yeah, backcountry lake trout. These trout were a whole different attitude, too, compared to things yep. that, I mean, they just fly up, and it's, it's... Yeah, it's pretty much, even with the live scope technology, like, I mean, still scanning out 30, 40 feet, as soon as you mark that thing, they are on you. They are on you, hot and heavy. They are coming in. They are turning and burning. So just like the walleye bite, I really don't want to leave, but we're going to head back. We got a, a couple little portages again. We're going to go eat some food at the lodge, maybe play down. a little game of pool. And uh, man, I, I don't want to leave, but I can tell you I will be back. And by the way, I just want to say we fished with Mac today, Mac Mulligan, Daryl, fished with Amir the other night. Dude, all of the guides up here have been just diehards and so dialed in and a blast to hang out with. And uh, it doesn't just feel like you're you're a customer or whatever, you feel like a friend. But mm -hmm. you learn too, you teach us, you put up with us being clowns. A lot. And, a lot uh, of <laughs> I don't want to pump your head up too big or you're going to need a bigger fur hat. Bigger fur but hat. Uh, it was just a blast. And by the way, Max got his YouTube channel, I'll link down below. Same with Daryl. They put out a lot of cool content and it's stuff up here doing way more hardcore things than I do back home. And this is our office. <laughs> we got a lot of time to film some cool stuff and make stuff happen. Dude, I, I seriously appreciate it so much. And uh, I, yeah, like I said, I cannot wait to come back. I'd invite you Until down to visit year, me, but I don't, I don't know if I have any bites that... Uh... Bluegill don't really kick on my fancy. <laughs> yeah.
They call me the one take wonder. The one. <laughs> Clip. Clip. Cut that. Coyote out. <laughs> you can't talk in third person, man. Yeah, you can. The hat's cool, but you can't talk in third person. Absolutely, I can. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> you can't tell me what the coyote can and can't do, okay? <laughs> the coyote is an animal. Oh my gosh, my cheeks hurt from all this laugh. I can't even handle this. Oh. Well, at least I can feel my cheeks again for being out there in the cold like a real man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going out there yeah. again.